Hello, my name is Ashley. Today, I would love to paint very beautiful hydrangea, but first, we're gonna do the background on the canvas. All right, we're gonna start. First, we're gonna do on this canvas, we have to start with acrylic. Always, I like to do acrylic to fill in, to fill the canvas with the paint. And then always, like I said, on acrylic, you can always do oil paint. So what I'm doing now, I'm just uh, spraying some water to make a little bit wet the canvas to make it easy when I put the colors it will make a little bit smoother and it's while it's wet it spreads the color easier so I want to paint a beautiful vase with the flower there you go if you watch this video which is gonna be hydrangea first I'm gonna put the background I'm putting color on my palettes red green blue any color you want here it is the color brown green red yellow black to do a little bit with red and green and you can do any color you want because later on we're gonna fill it we're gonna put some leaves we're gonna do colors. I don't know what, but we're gonna just do whatever you think it will be good on your painting. You don't have to be do, do strong or anything, just like fill it in. So when you put the flower, it doesn't look just black one paint, which I have some uh, roses that I painted with uh, uh, what they call a flower passion fruit a dragon fruit flower I just left it black and then I added uh, leaves you'll see on my videos which I painted but this one I'm just gonna put some color it I think it will make it better it will give more feeling in the in the and the, um, around the flowers and remember it's gonna be a lot of green leaves it's nice to put some red here and there some yellows there's no rule regulation just put and give like fresh color because later on if you do like for example green leaves when the flower is done it's kind of nice when you put the green leaf, for example, you know, uh, when you paint like this, it makes it kind of nice uh, background. You will, the background will blend with your flowers. That's what, what that's what I want, mean, I want to say. All right, now this is the acrylic paint. What I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna do with oil paint. This is like I said, I don't want to fill up my oil paint because it takes a lot of paint. So this one, even if you do in the middle, it's fine because it's going to be uh, the flower it's going to cover. So there you are. It's kind of nice to fill in like this. So later on, you can add your, uh, your the vase, you can put the handkerchief next to it, your tablecloth drop flower or whatever because it's acrylic when you put oil paint it's not gonna mix together so this is we're gonna leave like this and we're gonna let it dry so after it's dry we're gonna do the oil paint all right see while it's dry already when i'm putting the red color it's not blending anymore so you, when you put wheat together it makes it nicer there and if you think it's a little bit too strong color it is and you don't want it just take your spray bottle and spray it and spread it that way so there is nothing to be stressed over if it's done it's done if it's not you can always add it more later on because it dries fast put another color again on top of it so it will be good for you all right we have a little black maybe we should mix some black too with it so it doesn't have to be too too light there 
it's kind of blended together so it will be softer there you go however you like okay so I'm gonna leave this for a while it's gonna dry all right we'll wait for this to dry all right now the canvas is dry what I'm gonna put I'm gonna make a little bit lens that I'm gonna put little bit I'm gonna put the oil just very very little just make sure like I always say not to put too much put little bit and try to spread it all over in case if you put by mistake a lot what you can do is take a paper towel or a cloth just wipe it down all you need very very little so when you put your color your paint you start to paint it makes it easier for you to paint just go left right make a circle crisscross turn it all around so you can see the, the reflection of the light sometimes you don't see good so I think it's looking pretty good now that you see the color that I put I'm not sure how clear it is it doesn't matter you paint this way or the other way or though you can do this way the vase or you can go this way and the flower falls however you like okay now we're gonna start to paint we're gonna add colors yellow ochre and lizard crimson I'm gonna mix it together which I put a little bit sign over here to make the vase now we're gonna do the some of the leaves which I'm going to mix a little bit white. I'm going to put a little bit green here and there. So I want to put between them. I'm going to make one flower here, one here, maybe one in the bottom here. And then the rest maybe we'll do green. All right, those are, it's gonna be green around here. And then the rest, sometimes I will clean my brush on the canvas. There you go. So what we need to do is, I have to do flower, which is kind of pinkish. That's gonna be one flower here. We're gonna do one kind of more bluish you know that the hydrangea it has a lot of variety color so today we're going to do kind of a colorful hydrangea we're going to put one here what a beautiful blue color is this and then maybe another flower kind of down here hanging And then maybe we'll put one up here, small one, there you go. We'll make a little bit dark, we're going to use a little bit black over here. they are going to be beautiful and the blue it has a little bit kind of pinkish too here and there there we go now we have to wash our brush I'm going to put now some leaves all around you 
you know the hydrangeas it has big leaves some yellow gonna put later on we're gonna add more green we'll add a little bit all right I will make it more lighter so it will look more uh, stands out In case, if you cannot do it, like the way is my hands do, it goes like left, right. You can always move the picture up or down. You can turn it to make it easier for your hands. So, no stress. We can add a little bit bluish leaves, it's fine. The blue color is kind of pretty. All right. Now, later on we can come and add some more. Let's do it this way. There you go. There. All right. And then we can put whatever we want to add. All right. This is for the leaves. Always I like to put my painting brushes instant to wipe it complete I can give a little bit like a highlight it has like a light there is so wipe it on your canvas so you don't have to waste there you go there we go I'm not sure if you can see the bottom but what I'm doing I'm brushing it out bring it in we're gonna add some colors now we're gonna get actually small brush this is a little bit too big we're gonna get the filbert brush and putting white and blue together all right now we have to start to paint the hydrangea just white and blue I'm doing which it was blue I have to mix white in it just make kind of a red uh, I mean uh, Five petals, three petals, and don't cover all the backgrounds.
This is the most easiest flower. put more darker at the bottom all right let's add a couple more petals here So now we'll do this. Now we have to make the pink one, the red one. Now the purple one that we're gonna do, we're gonna add a little bit white and a little bit bird sienna to make it a little bit lighter color. And maybe I put a little bit red too in it. So I'm gonna add more white. The red bird sienna. Put here some. All right. This is really easiest flower to paint. And it's the most beautiful flower too. All the flowers are beautiful. the bottom we have to do a little bit even more lighter You can feel it in any direction because later on when you put the seeds you can decide where you put the seeds. 
and it makes it already automatically flower for you. I'm just gonna add a few, a little bit lighter color. We're just gonna make it a little bit closer the petals. So this way. There you go. Now the vase, we can put a little bit white with pink. I was gonna put some little branches in it. I'm putting just a little bit turp. I'm gonna add a little bit mm, let's see it's okay it pushes the flower away We're gonna put some little, some little long branches. All right, and then we have to have our liner brush. And put little swirls. Put a little bit lines. Let's turn it this way. It makes it easier. Make it kind of wet so it slips easy. Branches we can add. Well, really, this is a beautiful flower, hydrangea. Let's make like this when it kind of leaves leaves it's it uh, it's a beautiful thing to add we're gonna turn it like this way even for me it's kind of hard to do it there you go there you go I think the flower looks very beautiful. We're going to turn it and we're going to do it just like this. There we go. It 
it pushes the flower away. And this side we might put a little bit pinkish. There. We're gonna put a little bit white, just like the water in a vase. I can do that. So this way we will clean up the mess. There you go. All right, so after we finish all, now we're gonna put the, the seeds. Now while we are putting it, in case if it doesn't grab, take a liquid white and with the liquid white when you do it, it will grab it. We're gonna put liquid white, maybe with a little yellow ochre with it, here and there. There you go. All right, we're gonna put to the top. You can put a little bit turp or you can put liquid white just to hold the color because there is lump color on it it's kind of sometimes hard to grab it so This is really, really pretty flower it is. There you go. We're all done. Let's wash our brushes. Here's the picture. I hope you like it and if you really like it please subscribe my channel and like and I hope you'll try this become inspired and get your brushes and start painting very simple easy it just takes relaxation that's what it is it gives you relaxation thank you again bye bye Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this channel. I want to thank to all my patrons on patriot.com for their support to make my channel possible. Thank you.